All right, so today I'm gonna to show y'all how to reamp on the Axe Effects 3. I recently got the Axe Effects, um, and I'm I'm loving it. I'm, I'm probably gonna do a whole video on like the, like what I think of it so far, but it's by far the coolest recording tool I've ever used. One of my favorite features of this is um, the ability to easily reamp because uh, a lot of the times, um, you know, maybe you don't like the take that you got. Maybe you want to change the reverb trail a little bit. Maybe you want to change the delay just a little bit. You're going to want to reamp um, that stuff. So the way I have it run is the Axe FX is connected directly to my speakers, and the Axe FX is plugged in USB on my computer. So it's the active sound device right now. And so if it's plugged into your speakers, you don't have to um, monitor with this. So you can just turn that off. Um, in that there's no latency. Whereas with this, there's like, you know, a significant amount of latency. So basically let first, let me make sure you get it set up, right? So it's plugged in, you have all the drivers, everything's good. So you, you Reaper will by default only show input one and two. So what you'll want to do, see, this is what, it'll, this is what it will look like when you first load it up. So what you'll want to do is click here and go make it one through eight on both. And then, all right, so cool. Boom, that's done, you're set up. Uh, that's something that I spent like, like 30 minutes fighting with. I was like, why isn't this working? I've seen so many videos on this. So now that that's done, it recognizes all eight outputs. So what you'll do is you'll add two tracks. So the first one will be in one easy enough. The second one here, so if we go through and look at these, um, five and six uh, by default from the Axe FX is just the DI signal. So if you're trying to capture the wet track up here and then just the DI down here in five, boom, now we have the track and the DI. So let me track in a riff real quick and then we'll go through the rest. All right, so we have the riff. So here we have. So the first issue is this is playing through the master. So what we're gonna do to fix this, let's go into routing here, sending to master send. So you unselect that. Or we'll just, I'll just turn it down, boom. So now your DI is not playing through the master bus. You don't want it to be. Um, make sure that's right. So here's a, actually, I'll reset this to zero. Let's go master send on. No, I think I'm doing that right. So it'll be off here. So here's where it gets tricky. So add new hardware output. So remember how I said five and six is to capture the DI? Well, in seven and eight, that's the USB block. So that this is the coolest part of this whole thing. So we'll go ahead and do this. Out seven, routing there, everything's cool. Still can't hear it. It's outputting to block seven through the Axe effects. So now let's open up Axe Edit and do the next part. All right, so we'll go ahead and disarm these boys and make a new track. And new track will default as in block one, so cool. So we have this and we'll go ahead and solo this and then leave the monitoring on so you can hear it. So 
if I did everything right, so I, first I want you to think about it like signal chain. So right now, this is being sent to the hardware output of seven. So if you're look, the signal is coming from here in through the USB block, input USB here, through here and out one again. So this is in one. So in theory, this should work. And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna laugh. So it's working, so you can hear it. This is coming out one. So if I want to change this, let's go. Boom. So now, so now if I want to reamp it, it's just like recording. Boom, on, and done, done, it's magic. Just like that, you're finished. Stick around for a bonus piece of info. So saved, done. Boom. All right, so now you have, that's how you do it. So bonus piece of information here, you already have this set up. So just, you can select these two tracks, just click one, shift click, done, right click, Go down to, uh, let's see here, save tracks as template. And you can save it as a template. I've already done that. I already have the Axe FX guitar and DI saved here, but then you can save it as a template. So next time you're tracking guitars, all you have to do is add track from template and boom, it's there. So add track from template, boom, done. And then all you have to do is name them. So now you guys can reamp. And the cool thing with this is when you're writing, you can just broad brushstroke the whole song and you have all the DIs there. Or if the parts don't quite line up right, you can just edit them and then reamp them. And you're good, you're done. Easy as that. No need for all this other extra equipment going into all this other shit. You literally can do it all in this box, which is the coolest, most, time-saving thing ever um so thank you for watching if you like what you saw uh, you know like and subscribe or whatever and um i need to do more videos because yeah